Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Today, I want to talk about something that oftentimes gets overlooked when we tell the story of Canada's history. I'm talking about the essential contributions of black Canadians to our national fabric. Mathieu de Costa, Lincoln Alexander, Jean Augustine, Viola Desmond, Danny Laferriere, these are just a few of the people of African descent have shaped Canada into the country it is today. And still, their stories too often go untold, relegated to the footnotes of history textbooks. And why? Because centuries of inherent oppression, systemic racism, and discrimination have taken root. Yes, even in Canada, progress is not felt by all people equally. Unconscious bias certainly does exist, and black Canadians are particularly vulnerable to this inequality. It is too common to hear stories of young women and men across the country who are first judged by the color of their skin. Hearing about these individuals' lived experiences with racism and intersectional discrimination underscores that we must always strive to do better as Canadians. Partout au Canada, les personnes d'ascendance africaine souhaitent avoir de bons emplois bien rémunérés, un niveau de scolarité plus élevé et l'occasion de participer de façon égale à toutes les facettes de la société canadienne. Mais en réalité, beaucoup trop d'entre eux vivent dans la pauvreté, ont des problèmes de santé, ont un niveau de scolarité moins élevé et sont surreprésentés au sein du système de justice pénale. Nous pouvons et nous devons faire mieux. This is why, today, we join leaders from across the international community in taking an important step forward. Today, we announce that Canada is officially recognizing the International Decade for People of African Descent. This decade, spanning from 2015 to 2024, allows us to highlight and celebrate the important contributions that people of African descent have made to Canadian society. But perhaps more importantly, it outlines a framework for recognition, justice, and development for our citizens. Acknowledging this decade is a recognition that people of African descent represent a distinct group whose human rights must be promoted and protected, and whose history, culture, and contributions to society must be respected. In October 2016, notre gouvernement a invité le groupe de travail d'experts des Nations Unies sur les personnes d'ascendance africaine au Canada. Ses membres ont effectué des visites à Ottawa, Toronto, Halifax et Montréal. Ils ont salué entre autres, notre nouvelle initiative qui consiste à mettre en place un appareil judiciaire à, à reflétant la composition de notre pays. Cela dit, même si le Canada a la réputation de promouvoir le multiculturalisme et de valoriser la diversité, le groupe de travail a exprimé des préoccupations quant à la situation de nombreux Canadiens noirs, particulièrement le fléau du racisme anti-noir. C'est évident qu'il reste beaucoup de travail à faire. Here in Canada, over one million Canadians identify as black. The words we use and the actions we take matter. Our government's key priority is to deliver for the middle class and those working hard to join it. The investments we've made will improve the lives of all Canadians, including the lives of people of African descent. Programs like the Canada Child Benefit are helping parents with the high costs of raising children. An expanded Canada Pension Plan will help seniors retire with security and dignity. More generous student grant programs are helping low- and middle-income students attend college and university. We're investing billions in affordable childcare. Our national housing strategy is going to address housing insecurity for a lot of vulnerable Canadians, and big investments in the Canada Summer Jobs Program help teens and young adults get their start in the working world. 
mais nous avons entendu des gens et des organisations de partout au Canada, comme la Fédération des Canadiens Noirs et d'autres groupes, nous dire qu'en tant que gouvernement, nous devons en faire plus pour appuyer spécifiquement les Canadiens Noirs. La décennie internationale des personnes d'ascendance africaine de l'ONU propose d'accroître la capacité de recherche et la collecte de données afin d'obtenir une meilleure vue d'ensemble des difficultés particulières auxquelles font face les Canadiens noirs. Et cela a du sens. La façon dont nous recueillons et communiquons les données est insuffisante. Pour établir des politiques fondées sur des données probantes, il faut améliorer le système actuel. We've heard about the need for increased community engagement and development projects. Just last year, as part of the multiculturalism program, our Minister of Canadian Heritage announced five and a half million dollars in funding for community projects that prioritize working towards the elimination of discrimination, racism, and prejudice. These projects seek to promote diversity and intercultural understanding, all while championing an integrated, socially inclusive society. We must do more to empower community organizations to educate people about anti-black racism, unconscious bias, and inherent privilege. Supporting these local, grassroots efforts is one important way that we can build more inclusive workplaces, schools, and communities. We know that the interaction between black Canadians and the correction system as a whole faces a host of challenges, from discrimination in policing to overrepresentation in our prisons. The percentage of inmates in federal prisons who are black is 8.6%, despite black Canadians accounting for only 3.5% of the general population. We've heard about these challenges from the Federation of Black Canadians, among others, and we know that these issues must be addressed. And finally, concerned citizens and groups have engaged us on the unique mental health challenges facing Black Canadians. Our recent investments in mental health care, as negotiated in the provincial and territorial health accords, will start this work and help us support Black Canadians. As we embark soon on the start of Black History Month, it is important to recognize that Black history is Canadian history. Thus, addressing the challenges facing Black Canadians requires participation from all Canadians. In recognizing the International Decade for People of African Descent, Canada commits to a better future for Black Canadians, a future where they experience full and equal participation in society across political, social, and economic life. By working together, we can combat anti-Black racism and discrimination and deliver better outcomes for Black Canadians. Avant de terminer, j'aimerais saluer les membres du caucus qui sont à mes côtés cet après-midi pour le leadership incroyable dont ils ont fait preuve au cours des deux dernières années. Et je veux évidemment également remercier les leaders communautaires qui sont présents avec nous aujourd'hui. Et merci aussi à tous les femmes et les hommes qui travaillent d'arrache-pied pour promouvoir les droits de la communauté noire, ainsi que ceux des Autochtones et des personnes racialisées d'un bout à l'autre du pays. Merci encore d'être des nôtres pour cette journée importante. On a fait beaucoup de travail pour arriver jusqu'ici, mais on a encore plus de travail devant nous qu'on va faire ensemble.